American Airlines says it's overstaffed by 20,000 employees for its flight schedule later this year. The airline's facing weak demand because of the COVID-19 pandemic. American wants employees to take buyouts or early retirement. The airline can't lay off anyone or cut anyone's pay through the end of September. So the economy added nearly 5 million jobs in June and the U.S. unemployment rate fell to a little over 11%. That's far better than economists were thinking. It's the second consecutive month of growth after more than 20 million jobs were wiped out in April because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But there's still a recession. Nearly one and a half million workers filed for first time unemployment benefits last week. Joining us now to sort through the numbers is Andy Challenger, Vice President at Challenger Gray and Christmas. Thank you for joining us. We obviously getting a mixed bag here. What are your thoughts moving forward amid the pandemic? Yeah, look, 4.8 million jobs in a single month is a triumph, and it's why we spent trillions of dollars in PPP loans and CARES Act funds to help get us to the other side of the pandemic. And when uh, businesses reopen, people would still have jobs. However, now that we've reached uh, the point where we're adding these jobs back into the economy, we are seeing uh, the the coronavirus rear its head in a second wave uh, that's sweeping the country. Uh, we're seeing uh, a lot of these uh, jobs and states reverse course on uh, the uh, on what they announced uh, when these these numbers were collected about three weeks ago. Uh, so there are definitely some concerns despite the big positive number. So five million in added in June. Where are all these jobs? Yeah, they mostly came back in the, the restaurant industry, about 40% in leisure and hospitality. Uh, I also saw jobs added back in retail, where there were businesses closed uh, as they were deemed non-essential during uh, the peak of the coronavirus. Uh, and we also saw uh, jobs added back into manufacturing and, and professional services. Manufacturing is certainly good news, but the hospitality business, the first to fall, they're coming back around, but they may that may repeat itself, correct? Yeah, that's the real worry is, is this a little bit of false hope that these jobs have come back uh, for only a temporary period of time. Uh, I know, I mean, here in the, the West Loop of Chicago saw uh, quite a few uh, restaurants that opened a couple weeks ago shutter their doors permanently over the course of the last week. So we're certainly not through this crisis yet. So Andy, what does that mean for the economy then? It's kind of like an up and down kind of thing. And, and you say we are in a recession. Yeah. Uh, despite the fact that we saw a bounce back, we saw uh, a bunch of people return to jobs. Uh, we are continuing to see week after week uh, over a million people filing for initial jobless claims. Uh, that means that although there's more jobs being added in, in restaurants and hospitality that are being lost across the economy, uh, there are uh, as a shift of the layoffs now coming from larger uh, corporations, white collar jobs that were initially protected from the brunt of the crisis. We're hearing that uh, Congress may send out some more money in terms of helping through the pandemic, right? Another stimulus check. That's not certain. So what are your thoughts on that moving forward? It's not certain. We have seen uh, some data that uh, bet, uh, checking accounts have been uh, slowly going down as uh, people spend their stimulus money they uh, received in the first couple months of the pandemic without a return of funds. I think we won't see uh, the continued uh, uh, rise in consumer spending we've seen the last few months uh, where people were spending on home improvement mm -hmm. primarily uh, to fix up their own homes where they had been quarantined for a period of time as those funds run out in unemployment, as the PPP and CARES Act funds expire for businesses, uh, we very well may see another turn down. And Andy, very quickly, we say that 5 million jobs were added in June, are they, you, and you said people returning to these jobs. So these aren't new jobs, these are people returning to their jobs? Yeah, for the most part, these were furloughed uh, or understaffed workers uh, that were asked to come back as businesses reopened. Yeah. Uh, it's still roughly 80% of yeah. employees that are unemployed consider right. themselves to be temporarily yeah, unemployed. So that, that makes a difference. Thank you very much, Andy Challenger of Challenger Green Cruise.